I am gonna be filming everything that I eat on a pretty strict carnivore diet for the next week. So today is Monday. I weighed myself this morning. At my lowest weight, I was 127. So yeah, I've gained like 21 pounds back. I can't believe that. So the reason why I gained the weight back is because I went off of the carnivore diet. I let other people convince me that I had some sort of eating disorder. There we go. Oh my God, look at that. Yeah, that's my piece. Here's my ice cream. Oh my. <laughs> I'm gonna mix it all up together in the bowl. Yeah. And look at the pizza we just got. Oh my God. I've been a savage beast and I only allowed Ted two pieces while I ate all the rest of the pizza by myself. No, we're gonna polish this bitch off. All right, we, we polished off the entire pizza. And now I understand the truth is that my body just honestly cannot handle to eat like a normal person. So I'm gonna start sharing with you guys everything that I'm eating this week, including alcohol, drinks, everything I put in my mouth. And now I'm about to have my first meal of the day. All right, let's go eat. So I am having two double cheeseburgers, no ketchup, no pickle, no bun, um, just cheese and mustard and hamburger patties and a little bit of onion. Here is what they look like. So I'll eat some mustard sometimes, some sauces. But yeah, this is what I'm having today along with a Diet Coke. What's most important to me is keeping my carbs down and trying to get enough calories and nutrients into my body. So I am eating a huge ass, ass portion of roast beef with butter on top and I am gonna grind some salt on top of it. And that is gonna be my dinner tonight. I may even go back for a second. So my late night snack was four of these pepperoni things but I am going to make another plate for Ted and I to share. So I just take four of these large pepperoni and then I just break this into four pieces, put one little square on each, and then you stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds. So then when you take them out of the microwave, this is what they look like. This is my late night snack, so I'm having six of these and that's probably gonna be all I'm gonna eat for today. All right, it is now Tuesday morning. I didn't eat a lot yesterday. Um, but I did manage to get my weight down three pounds in one day. That's how much keto carnivore works for me. Here's my first meal, a two slices of bacon and two scrambled eggs with two tablespoons salsa. And then I'm also gonna have a Diet Coke. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday night and Ted and I are going out to dinner to celebrate my beautiful new black hair. And I am having a Jack and Diet Coke for dinner. So I'm already in keto and usually when I'm already in keto, having one drink with dinner is not gonna throw me out. All right, here is my side salad. Of course, I am not gonna be eating the croutons, but I will eat the greens and cheese and the ranch dressing. All right, y'all, my New York strip is here. I also ordered the Brussels sprouts, which I am not gonna eat. Hey, y'all, so it is Wednesday morning, or it's like about 11 a.m., and I'm just getting ready to eat my first meal of the day. I just weighed myself earlier, and I have lost about five pounds now just from cutting out carbs. So today's first meal is some leftover pot roast that I had from making the roast the other day, and some butter melted on top. That's what I'm gonna be eating for first meal. And here is my dinner plate. I'm having two jalapeno cheddar bratwurst, uh, some habanero cheddar, and three deviled eggs, and that's gonna be my dinner tonight, guys. And also a little tiny Diet Coke. It is a couple hours after dinner and I'm gonna have a little late night snack. So I'm gonna have, I don't know, probably three or four of each flavor. I'm um, just to try them out with a Diet Coke and then I'm gonna go to bed. Hey y'all, it's now Thursday morning and I'm getting ready to have my first meal of the day. I weighed myself this morning. I was a little disappointed. I had actually gained 0.2 pounds. I know the weight loss is not linear and I probably shouldn't be weighing myself every day, but I also do think I hit the cheese curds a little too hard last night. So here she is in all her glory, a leftover jalapeno cheddar sausage, two deviled eggs, and a little pile of bacon. Hey guys, so it is uh, Thursday evening and Ted wanted to go out to dinner at Fisherman's Wharf. So I'm gonna have one drink with my dinner, which doesn't seem to affect my weight loss. Hitting the cheese curds too hard last night affected it worse. Well, y'all, I just spilled my $10 drink all over the ground out here. So uh, yeah, I guess I'm, no, I'm gonna order another one, fuck it. All right, so I ordered a side salad for my one of my sides, and I'm not gonna eat the tomatoes or croutons, but I'll eat the greens and cheese and ranch dressing. I will not eat the carrot either, no. All right, y'all, this is what I ordered, the Cajun broiled catfish. I also got some green beans as a side. What did you get? What is that? I don't know. 
the hush puppy. Hush puppy. All right. It's Friday morning, y'all, and I'm getting ready to have my first meal of the day. I was very disappointed. I didn't lose any weight since yesterday. So when we were at Fisherman's Wharf, I ended up having two drinks, and then I also ate a french fry and a hush puppy and a bite of fri fried fish. So I'm pretty sure that's why my weight didn't move. This morning, I cooked a huge batch of this sausage and egg scramble uh, for Ted before he went to work, but I wasn't ready to eat then, so I put it in the fridge. Now I'm getting it out to reheat it, and I'm going to add some habanero cheese on top. And then I'm going to microwave this and have myself a delicious breakfast. And then, of course, I am going to have a Diet Coke. Hey guys, it is Friday night and Ted and I are going out to dinner and tonight we're going to Osaka. We had to wait to get into the hibachi y'all so I am having a Knob Creek and Diet Coke because Ted wanted to get fancy tonight. 100 proof. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ. Y'all my salad has come with ginger dressing. This is what I'm having. All right my vegetables are here guys so I'm gonna eat some of these mushrooms and broccoli. I'm gonna eat that. All right y'all my chicken is here so so I ate all the shrimp, a little bit of the veggies, none of the rice, and now I'm gonna eat some of this chicken. Okay, here's my food, y'all. It's bacon cheeseburgers with a disgusting squirt of mayonnaise on the top. Mmm, mm-hmm. All right, guys, it is 4.16 a.m. at, on, what day is it? We have been up all night at the casino and we are getting breakfast at Big L's Diner. And uh, I got eggs and bacon and rye toast, but I'm only gonna eat the eggs and bacon. I swear, I'm staying true to carnivore. Oh, I'll eat the rye toast. Even though I've been up all night and I'm completely trashed. Also, I'm having a coffee with cream. Gotta sober up. <laughs> I did put six creams in it. Well, y'all, it is now Sunday afternoon, about 1.45 p.m., and I'm just eating for the first time because I just woke up and went to McDonald's to get some burgers with no bun, um, double cheeseburgers, same thing I always eat. So that's what I'm having for my first meal of the day. Today is a recovery day. So anyway, I'm going to eat this, and I'll see you guys when I eat again later. Well, y'all, it's dinner time on Sunday, and this is what I'm eating today is a Papa Bowl from Papa John's. It has cheese, um, bacon, sausage, pepperoni, spicy Italian sausage, and jalapenos for a little treat for myself. But this is probably all I'm going to be eating today. I don't even know if I'll finish all this, but I am pretty hungry. Okay, so the week is over and I've learned a few things. I only lost 3.8 pounds in that one week. And I think the problem is, first of all, I was eating too much food. So going forward, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to actually track how much I'm eating so that I know that I'm not just going crazy overboard. I feel like I definitely ate too much food. I was drinking a lot more the first time I lost the 100 pounds. I still lost 3.8 pounds. I still consider that a successful week, but I would have liked to have lost more in the first week of going back like full carnivore.